NerdErotic.com. The diversity of, of such a diverse team. Diverse, different, 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 different diversity. You're a woman of color as well. Representation. For so long, we've seen superheroes that have looked like a small percentage of the world different. We have a lot of representation. Diverse. Everybody looks different. Everybody sounds different. A lot of people are going to see themselves as superheroes for the first time. Diversity and the inclusion. Different, different way. Diverse, diverse, diverse. But it doesn't feel tokenistic. Ah! Amazing. Get ready, people. You know. Get ready. <laughs> Look at this. I want to have this body. I can keep it, right? <laughs> I, 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 I had to learn how to swim. Yeah. yeah. That's a big deal. <laughs> yeah. My guy, how are you? Oh, well, hey, let's, let's go. Let's get right in there. I'm Carl. It's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> let's talk about that diversity and the representation. Oh, <laughs> Here we go again. Representation. 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 La representación. Representaciones. Las representaciones. La representación. Representaciones. Representation. Representation. Representations. Represent. Represent. Representation. I'm a piece of representation in gaming and see representation on the big screen and to feel represented. Represented. Represent. Represent. Representation. Represented. They're representing. Represent. Represent. Representing. This representation. Excited. Right? I mean, it's um, it's not something that we do because it's a political move, but it's because it's, it's really good for the story. So many people are going to feel themselves represented in this. It's too white, our television and movies. Nani? You know what? Let's also talk about these young black geniuses that we will get to experience. Yes. She's a genius. She's amazing. A genius 19-year-old MIT student. You are a genius and geniuses That's tend to what get happens. into a lot of trouble. MIT educated mm -hmm. genius. Female genius. A genius super genius. A female genius and like the greatest warrior in the world. This is a working model for an energy source. Okay, I see young genius. I like it. You need to be conscious of the way that you look. Walking around here with that ash on your head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's funny. Do you look good? But you know, it's not just black tech geniuses. We're getting women at the forefront of this. Which I love. I know. Which I love. I don't know you. What is your name? I'm... <laughs> Mm. The beauty, the strength, the intelligence. Yes. The intelligence. I am so excited for little black girls to see this one in particular, Absolutely. even more than the first one. I'm so excited for us. Come down a little bit. Bring it down a notch. I have my Amina Muadi shoes, Ooh. and then I have my Brandon Blackwood and Systemic Racism bag here. Yes. This purple little number, I love it. I'm also excited to see the cultural collision I think we're going to witness in this film. Yeah. Because we have two very different cultures, very different cultures. and we're going to see how they collide. Am I racist? Yeah. I should hope not. <laughs> Racist? What Saddle. we're seeing so far, the visuals looks really good. <laughs> We've got a Okoye's Midnight Angel uniform. You came along, just like a song. Just, just everyone, I'm just trying to suck it all in right now because, <laughs> like, I'm a kid in the candy store too. Like, yeah. special thank you to my guests, the Fellowship of Influencers, Chanel, Joel, and Kelsey. For We're getting like more diversity, 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 much more diversity, being inclusive, representative, representation, black elf, female dwarf. Wow, never saw people in my color. So amazing. Women in it, women, more female representation. I wasn't represented, my disability, my queerness wasn't represented. I'm a girl, Galadriel. Yes. Yes. Hello, Galadriel. 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 I'm already yeah. obsessed. Cool. Stunning and beautiful. Corruption and manipulation. Yeah. Corrupt people. Corrupt and be like, I can change. Him. She like, and I was like, 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 it's Radio Lord of the Rings. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. It's about to get lit like Mordor. Shut up! Shut up! NerdErotic.com
I got news for you. Oh, what a day. Everyone, I know you can't hear the applause very much. This stream yards crap. We'll have to fix that. But hello. Hello. Uh, sorry, there was an echo for the music. A little late for that now. Thanks, X-Ray Girl. She's in the background. She's going to stay in the back where she belongs. That's right. <laughs> uh, what's up, everybody? What a day. Uh, you know, it, it's it's winning by losing in a way. But uh, huge news that came in the middle of the night last night. Bob Chapik steps down. <laughs> The de- like two days after he says he's going to lay some people off and cut some costs and Bob Iger comes in to the rescue. My first question, is he going to stop the layoffs? Is he going to stop cutting costs? Is any of that going to change? Uh, the answer is no, it's not. They just wanted Bob uh, Chapik to say, I got to make sure I get my Bob's right. Uh, now, Bob Iger comes in and I owe it. You know, I came in after the decision was made. I'm sorry. It's it's too late. Um, but are they going to fire the right people? You know, uh, that's the question. Hey, we also got some legitimate numbers from Amazon uh, in the last 48 to 72 hours. Uh, no, not, not about the rings of power. 10,000 people fired. 10,000 people fired. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not J.D. Payne. Patrick McKay, Lindsay Weber, or Jennifer Sulky, and none of the people fired from Disney are going to be Kathleen Kennedy or Victoria Alonzo or Pablo Hidalgo or the entire story group or pretty much everybody at Lucasfilm at this point. Now, it's going to be the same old shit, like I've said many times in the last uh, 24 hours. Meet the new Disney, same as the old Disney. Uh, they brought in the architect of their woke failure. Uh, to see it through, I guess. He's only going to be there for two more years because Bobby Iger realized, the weatherman, by the way, I love Lamp. He realized he wasn't going to be a president. Uh, while this is still a very much a political move, it's also a move to falsely boost up the stock. Now, I don't buy stock. I don't sell stock. I think it's gambling. I think it's bullshit. But I will say this. Uh, there was a little spike today, or a big one. Um, Anybody who is for parental rights and has their 401k maybe possibly buying stock in Disney right now, I would say, I can't tell you what to buy and what not to buy. I would say that's part of the problem. That's part of the problem. Uh, A lot of people who are against this shit are paying for it whether they know it or not. You know, a lot of people just, you know, I did for a long time, have my 401k, didn't really think about it. And when I started thinking about it, I hated it. I hated it. Uh, So there's that. But, you know, reality will set in once again. Uh, People will be getting fired. There will be cutbacks. Um, Chapik was never going to be the guy. The minute he made his hostage video, it was over. His intention was right in the beginning. Hey, let's stay out of this. He bent the knee, he was done, and the board served him up as the sacrificial lamb that he made himself, that he made himself. Uh, the re- uh, How the board is still there, how the board is not responsible for any of this, uh, your guess is as good as mine. But considering that the board is in California, and California can now dictate how uh, the the racial makeup of your board. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. California. California. How it affects the rest of America. How that poison affects the rest of America. But today is about victory. Today is about victory because a healthy company doesn't fire their CEO in the middle of the night on Sunday. So all the stands, I thought Disney was doing fine. Uh, <laughs> you fucking idiots. Oh my God. Uh, so yes, I'm wearing my victory hat, <clears throat> which serves a couple of purposes because nothing says victory like Texas. But also if I forget where I live, I can look at my hat and see that I live in the free state of Texas. And thanks to big Raj for sending me this beautiful. I got news for you shirt. 
I'm going to wear this with so much pride. With so much pride. Um, I would like to apologize for those clips, but I won't. Uh, I'm, you know, I saw you guys saying, please stop in the chat. <laughs> Perry spent a lot of time on those. I spent a lot of time on those. Imagine having to clip that stuff out. Okay. Think about me. All right. No, I'm no, just kidding. Uh, but yeah, it, it, or think about poor, poor Perry. Perry had to go on a vacation after the last video he did. Poor guy. I had, I had to give him a little time off. Give him a little time off. So um, I don't know how this is being spun by the the shills out there. You know, you know, the shills. Uh, uh, the first reviews and reactions for it, the review embargo lifted for it or the reaction embargo and lifted for it. And I hunted, Rob, I hunted to try to find a negative one. Mm. Not one. Not one negative one. I was talking about uh, Thor, and then he hunted some more. I hunted, Rob. I hunted for Tobey Maguire's dick. And that, and then he found something. He found something. Uh, and yes, the 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 final act of the MCU stage four is to remove a man's penis. Uh, they removed Namor's junk. the the bottom line here is all this shit i love to think that like all of us here in this sphere everybody in the chat you guys are geniuses but like i'm not jeremy definitely isn't ryan isn't uh no this shit was once you start having the time which most of you don't have because you're busy running the world and we're grateful for it but uh us dorks uh, i wish my dad was still here i do just, just to go, you know, when you told me wasting time on comic books and all the sci-fi would lead to nothing, you were mostly right still, but, uh, it ended up, uh, somehow work it out. <laughs> um, this shit was obvious. It was obvious five, six years ago, we were in a pretty good economy. All right. We were on an economic upswing after a, a long economic downswing. Right. And that's uh, affluent times allow people to get comfortable, maybe too comfortable and start thinking about things that they shouldn't instead of like, Oh, how can I better my life? And if I better my life, I can better the life around me by getting a job, learning a trade. No, I'm going to fuck around and go to university and take insert here studies class and wonder about gender 24 seven or virtue signal 24 seven. Well, that is the product of a affluent society, which uh, these aren't affluent times right now. Uh, I'm not going to black pill you. Like, things have been worse. Things could be better, but these aren't times where people can dick around and think about the woke agenda 24 seven that only matters to elites and certain people in uh, Hollywood, San Francisco, big tech in New York. Rest of us could give a shit. We've been telling you that for years. Instead, you call this racist, white supremacist, Nazis. I mean, Christ, we were uh, on the ancient aliens live stream last night reading an article that Graham Hancock is pushing white supremacy and Nazi narratives with his ancient apocalypse special. Like, you know, I did say it's going to get worse before it gets better. We're still in the, it's getting worse phase, but at least we can like, it's so, it's so bad. It's easily mocked. It's the lowest of hanging fruit. And that's what makes this fun. <laughs> Cause we're like, Oh, they're going to call like one of the most liberal guys a Nazi next. And they do. And it's just easy to predict. You know, um, I've always said woke storytelling. Well, for one, it's not storytelling. It's it's uh, it's 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 a platform for well, not influence, but it's meant to influence you and change you and get to your kids and, and infiltrate the culture, which it did. But there's only a few stories they can tell, and that is uh, the weak man, the duplicitous man, uh, or you know, and that's that's it, uh, or the racist man. And then they promote their films with uh, things like, you know, like Wakanda Forever with purple drink and chicken. 
and, and they wonder why it's it's not landing. And you know, and I pointed out my video if you haven't seen it again. This is the same company that put a mask on on Chadwick Boseman for China. Shrunk Finn on the poster for China. Thank the concentration camp. Filmed next to a concentration camp. Uh, pro probably has this concentration camp making some of their products. Don't know for sure. Don't know for sure. But I wouldn't put it past them. Uh, slave labor involved in, yeah, probably. Probably. Don't think that's going out in a limb by saying this. But this company, like in this country, wants to tell us that our entire system is bad. The one it's benefited from. And... And most of Hollywood's been telling us, and we have been telling Hollywood, shut the fuck up. Just shut the fuck up. Just shut the fuck up. And now we're just like, fuck off. <laughs> so you alienate your uh, audience for a good long time. And yeah, they tend to go away. What a fucking surprise. What a shock. Who could have seen this coming? A shocking turn of events. For Christ's sake. Um, this has been, uh, I've been, well, I went to sleep last night, but it was, it was fun watching it, uh, go down, go down on Twitter. And this is like on the heels of <laughs> Elon letting everybody back on. And it just feels like, well, the pendulum is finally swinging back. It does. There's more. There's so much more. I got a video coming out. There's so much more, so much more. Uh, thanks for becoming a member, member gun star one. Uh, welcome. We'll do a member stream soon. I'll be hitting the road, but I'll do a member stream from there. Uh, no victory here. It sadly plays into the hands of the WEF's plan to remodel the world uh, in communism's image, which they do not hide. ESG will fund uh, Iger to continue his work. No celebration to be had. I disagree. Thank you for the super chat. That's very black pill, though. I highly disagree. Um, I would say they could fund it all fucking day long. Disney still needs to make money. They still need to make money. And outside of the MCU, they ain't. The MCU and their par their parks fund everything at this point and the MCU. What else are they producing? What else are they innovating? What can ESG innovate? Uh, it can only infiltrate. What we need to do is re-infiltrate. You can't give up on the culture. You can't walk away on the culture. This They need to be defeated. Make your own stuff too. Make co competition will change things as well, but we can't like abandon and compete. We need to compete, infiltrate, and overthrow. That's exactly what we need to do. And it's going to take a long time. So it's absolutely a victory. Put away that black pill, young one. Put away that black pill. We, we got time for that. Uh, they say they can't unflush a turd, but somehow Iger floats to the top. Well, you know, Shane Day for for 20 uh, British pounds. Thank you very much. You know, things are bad when the AMC CEO forgot his name, but like when other CEOs are rooting for you, that's that's bad. And, and that guy's like a dipshit. The AMC CEO, like AMC is already starting to fall apart. The only reason it's still here is because it was uh, part of that. Um, Oh, I forgot when people were buying up the stocks for fun. Uh, I forgot what it was called, but uh, that's that's the only reason AMC is still alive. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I, it, 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 it needs to fall apart first and then some companies will change. Uh, Disney was never going to change. They were never, ever, ever going to change. They're too big and the main drive, their main financial driver. Sorry, that's getting annoying. Hang on. Let's put that to sleep. My Discord notifications. Uh, their main financial driver is the parks, which can uh, fund a lot of bullshit, and it goes into a big pot, and it does. it's not based on movie tickets sold. It's not based on uh, views. It's based on, you know, just the, this big trough. That's changing. That's changing. Uh, Disney made a huge mistake getting involved directly involved in state politics in a state's politics and they took a huge l a massive l and we're seeing it now to the point where they're so desperate they brought back the architect of their own destruction and to wall street and you know god i was watching uh 
basic bitch news. Um, and and yeah, sorry, Fox is basic bitch news. Uh, in the gym, and they're like, "This is God that Bob Iger's coming back." I'm like, "Oh fucking god, they're so dumb. They're so fucking dumb. They shouldn't even talk about this stuff. They shouldn't because it's just pure bottom line. It's like, oh, it's gonna be 2015 again. He'll make it 2015 again. I, I maybe, uh." financial planners especially when it comes to like advising on entertainment stock you need to know about the entertainment okay and and they just fucking don't they just flat out don't they just look at oh bottom line bottom line here's a bottom line fewer people are watching movies period fewer people are watching disney movies fewer people are watching marvel movies the box office in 2019 the global box office was a record 40 i think it was 45 billion dollars 45 billion following year for covid it was half that no 70 percent of that it was way low but that's that's fine 2021 where more movies came out it was still half that 22 22 billion with spider-man no way home uh it'll probably be around that this year it's not going to be 45 billion uh people got out of the habit theaters are closing there's a massive theater near me in texas where things are booming you know Things are booming. It's it's not like the rest of the country. Shit's happening here and shit's happening in Florida. Uh, but there's a big empty theater near me that's not that old. So they have a huge problem and streaming isn't the savior they thought it was. Disney lost a billion and a half on it. And they're like, oh, we might be proper, profitable in 2024. Too much Marvel. Too much bad Marvel. That's that's the bottom line there. Too much bad Disney Marvel. Lucasfilm is a joke. The fact that Kathleen Kennedy hasn't been fired yet tells you how not serious they are. Not serious. If you were serious and you were actually a bottom line person and you looked at, oh, we got this massive IP, biggest in the world, and we have seen huge losses in toy sales, merchandise sales it's not bumping our streaming and and we can't think of a movie to put out right now and this is a movie franchise star wars is a movie franchise with no movies it's got a show that everybody's that all uh well some people are happy about I, i'm not going to bother watching it because i don't care but uh by all accounts it's not as bad as the other stuff was but nobody's watching it the, even the creator of the show says they're chasing the audience once apathy kicks in, next to impossible to get people back. Just is. It just is, especially when you directly attack fans. It's, it's one thing to have like a, a bomb and a bad story. It's another thing to have a bad story and then go after the fans and blame them for it. Ask Amazon. Go look. In 2024 or 5, when we see Rings of Power Season 2, and all of you are saying, hey, oh, there was a Rings of Power Season 2. When did that come out? That will be your response. That will be your response. Uh, ask Amazon how that feels. When they could change everything right now, but nope, they're too scared to. And this is where corporatism fails art and creativity. Thank you, Shane Day. Uh, we got uh, a new member here. We got uh, Stuart Hamilton. Welcome. Welcome to Neurotic. Uh, and Big Raj. Big Raj, thanks for the super sticker, buddy. So, <clears throat> not too long ago, we heard that uh, Bob Chapik was going to turn things around. Um, and and I'll, I'll say what I say. When I hear all this stuff and I don't hear it from people who work there from Bob Chapik, I'll just go, I'll believe it when I see it. You know, it could happen. Sure. Sure. I'd love that to happen. Uh, but it didn't. It clearly didn't. And uh, Jeremy, to his credit, uh, Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers, he said Iger was going to come back. I wasn't sure, but uh, I'm not surprised that he came back. But again, it's only for two years. Do you think Disney can turn around in two years? So I guess the biggest sign will be in the neck in the coming weeks. And they can't F around on this in the coming weeks. Like by the end of this year, if we start seeing things canceled, 
like projects outright being canceled, but like Disney doesn't roll like that. Disney quietly just cancels stuff and says it's still, you know, it's still coming out. Rian Johnson's trilogy is still coming out. And that's, that's Bob Iger. Bob Iger's philosophy is like uh, never admit any faults. I don't think we live in that world anymore. So on the fan level, the thing that the bankers don't understand, uh, the middle management do doesn't understand and the activists done it. Well, and the access media doesn't understand is people, people are actually more hopeful about Warner brothers right now, uh, because they're doing things that are somewhat interesting because they were forced to, because they lost a bunch of money. Getting Bob Iger is not a, a really interesting. I think it's 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 expected from Disney, and that's why I said when it comes to the change party, if it happens, they'll be the last one to it. Oh my god, that Discord thing is annoying the shit out of me. Um, all right. Let's get to deadline because this is interesting. What's across the top here? What's across the top? Because there's other things that are going on. Uh, it's not just Bob Iger coming back and falsely uh, inflating Disney stock based on absolutely fucking nothing. <laughs> just him coming back. All right. Oh, God. That is a huge ad. Why is that so big? Oh my God. Now I don't want to, didn't want to do that. There we go. There we go. All right. Disney shocker, Bob Iger back as CEO, Bob Chapik exit stocks, but like look down here, HBO. HBO SVP media relations, Angela Tarantino to exit after 30 plus years at Cabler. That's the media relations person. That's your PR person of 30 years gone from HBO. Then you go all the way to the right. CNN business, Michael Bass, CNN program chief and ex Zucker Lieutenant sets exit. Shit's changing. Shit is changing. Uh, let's go here. Oh yeah, look at yeah this 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 dork right here. Oh stop. Uh, AMC AMC CEO Adam Aaron exults return of uh, Bob Iger to Disney. Let me shout this from the mountaintop. Yeah, like look at this. Yeah, ladies man right there. Uh, among those quite happy with the reinstallment of Bob Iger and Disney CEO was exhibitor giant AMC's Adam Aaron, who took to Twitter to, uh, exclaim based on box office grosses, Disney's, Disney is the Bill's biggest filmmaker of any movie studio. That's bad. That's very, very bad. That should, that should hate shake Hollywood to its core because it's true. Everybody's a distant effing second to disney and if they start faltering what the fuck i mean like if you're a movie theater owner right now you got avatar and nothing go look at the release slate for the rest of the year this is the holidays there should be a bunch of holiday movies a bunch of big movies there's nothing nothing and then your next big movie is a marvel movie in february and quite frankly isn't that ant-man which will be what? Which will be Ant Man and three girls uh, fighting Kang? I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Let me get to this article. B -b 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 Disney shares surge as investors see Bob Iger wielding magic wand to return to see. <laughs> <laughs> this is where you know yeah, it's really tough to fight this it's really tough to fight this oh he's going to be back with his magic wand and 
that's the scary part of the the stock market. It's so reactive. It's so damn reactive. Like nobody's thinking about like how did how did Disney get here? Did did Bob Chapek ruin it in a year and a half, two years, or was it something before that? Was it the guy who bailed on the company the minute COVID came around, came around and came back now after Bob Chapek said he was going to lay people off and make cuts? I mean, like, that is douchey, white bread, politician, CEO personified right there, the weatherman. And people are just in love with this guy. I, I I don't get it. He bought shit. He bought shit. Which, again, is very exciting for Wall Street. Acquisitions. Uh, it's destroyed Hollywood. Uh, Quentin Tarantino has come out and said this is the worst era in film and ever. Uh, now, I disagree with him on the 80s. He says the 80s was bad. Wrong. Totally wrong. Um, but this is the worst era in film ever. Absolutely ever. We're living in it right now. It's garbage. Objective garbage. <sighs> After so many critics said it was just, it was a golden age. It's wonderful. Diversity is our strength. How'd that work out for you? How'd that work out for you? So, stocks rose 8%. That's why they hired them. Uh, Disney shares busted out of a starting gate this morning at 8% in early trading of a wave of optimism. Sentiment about Bob Iger's return to CEO. The stock pushed nearly to $100 mark and more than doubled its average trading volume on a fairly subdued break-even day for the broader market. Disney shares came into the week before 40% uh, down more than 40% in 2022 to the date and the financial results have uh, have weakened on the watch of ousted CEO Chapik. So they busted out of a slump, but they're still in a slump. And the reality is going to, to, to kick in. Uh, lots of Disney plus garbage, lots of uh, Marvel stage four garbage. And no fucking Star Wars. <laughs> uh, oh, the Mandalorian's coming back. Does anybody care? I don't. Maybe some people do. And if you do, that's great. But uh, they fired Gina, so I can give a fuck. I could care less. Oh, whoops. Sorry. I can get in here. Hang on. There I am. You're probably, no, get out of there. We're better off with your dumb fucking hat. Iger is the cause of the current disaster. He's not going to save Disney. No, he is not, Jedi Don. Uh, and thankfully, I've heard some people, like Star Wars uh, Theory uh, made a video, and he said the same thing. He's like, I ain't excited. I ain't excited. So good for him. Good for him for, uh, well, I mean, you want to praise him, but he's he's honest. That's all you ask for. Don't have to agree all the time. I got a great email today. and Like, hey, great video. I agreed with most of it. Hey, that's awesome. That's brilliant. You do not need to agree with every word. It's uh, and I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Uh, Oliver for twenty dollars says, "I currently am living in California, and it's miserable here. Disney fans are a cult like uh, Disney fans here are cult like. That is nothing new. Okay, um, honestly, that's been a, that's been a reality for decades. There's like this Disney fandom that's ooh, a little out there, and that's okay." It was kind of like furries, right? As long as you're in your corner and you're away from kids, I'm fine. You can exist. But when you become the focal point of these corporations, uh, it's a bit of a problem. Uh, there's another huge, huge problem. And we're going to look at this image in just a moment of why Disney is completely failing. So remember, we have been saying over and over again, you are going, you are chasing an audience that just doesn't exist. Uh, let me pull up this graph for you that I was going to put in my video and it didn't end up there, but it will end up in another one. I, I toss nothing out. Whatever gets cut out of a video goes in the next one. Usually. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Was it in research? Research. Oh, shit. Now I can't find it. 
That really sucks. I hate not being able to find stuff. Oh, maybe I put it in paranormal accidentally. Nope. Give me just a moment. I'll find it this way. It was a graph of, and now it's just completely gone. Where did I see it? Where did I see it? Okay. I'll lead into it. Gen Z. Gen Z. The Zoomers. That's what Disney wants. That's what Disney's been chasing. They're not watching their shit. To the tune of not quite zero, but pretty fucking close to zero. Pretty close. Where in the fuck did that image go? Da, 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 da. Oh, well, maybe I imagined I saved it. Now I got to dig it out. In the meantime, we can bring up the count of the MCU. We can certainly do that. Ah, okay, there it is. So it was part of a article that I kind of read last night. Uh, da, 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 da. It's there we go. Oh, now it's gone. Damn it. I'll find it later. Maybe uh, X-Ray Girl, if you could look for it. It's a graph, and it was sent in the Discord. And I don't know what happened to it. I don't know if it's in general. I don't know what happened to it. Yeah, it's a graph showing 9% of, I like to like have stuff backing up what I say. That's why I look so hard for it. But it's a graph basically saying, breaking down by generation, who is buying Disney products, who is buying Marvel products. And the graph starts out by saying, well, half of Marvel fans are women, 40% of Marvel fans are women, but then they conflate it with movie, TV show, comics. Now, if you change that to comics, it would turn into ah, 85%, 90% are male, 10% are female. But then they go down by generation, and it's, it's mostly millennial. It's millennial and boomers. So Gen X is actually outnumbered by boom baby boomers and millennials. Uh, but the percentage of Gen Z, the audience they have been a full court press, have been going after 9%. 9%. Let's see if I can just Google it. it yeah there it is ha ha i found it sorry folks one man show today is gen z too cool for marvel just nine percent of marvel fans identify as part of this generation the one they have been completely full full court press going for nine fucking percent because, well, for one, if the movie is more than seven seconds, it's too long for Gen Z, for most of them. Not all. Hashtag not all. Uh, data indicates millennials are a driving force of interest in Marvel and superheroes. Except none of them read the fucking comics. All right, so here's that graph I was talking about. The demographic makeup. Marvel fans include self-identified, avid, and casual fans of Marvel movies, TV shows, and comics. By the way, just to let you know, this poll, poll conducted November 19th through 22nd, 2021. This is prior to the Eternals. Among 2,200 U.S. adults, including 1,526 uh, Marvel fans with margins of error of plus and minus 2% and plus and minus 3%, respectively. Gender, and this is a big shocker. 
Uh, Marvel fans, 47% women, 53% men. Again, this is movie, TV, comics, afterthought. This is mostly movie. Um, I would say 90% of both sexes don't watch comic, don't read comics at all. <laughs> um, ages, this is the big one. Gen Z, 9%. Millennials, 40%. Gen Xers, 25%. Baby boomers, 26%. <laughs> um, race, ethnicity, and but this whole fucking chart is the problem. When Stan Lee, Jack Kirby, were, made, were drawing their and writing their comic books, do you think they went off graphs like this? No, no. Creativity, certainly marketing departments are always going to be part of it, but a lot of it has to be done through pure talent and, and your gut, and your gut. So this is kind of the found, one of the foundations, part of the foundation of failure when it comes to creativity and art. Uh, it's, it's trying to abide these graphs like, oh, well, we need to make a Disney plus show for the, uh, household income of under 50,000 that might possibly be in the suburbs that lean somewhat independent and Democrat, um, you know, and, and, and Hispanic adults. It's like, what? Just make a good show and everybody will watch it. So it, it what happens is these companies get too big. Uh, Elon's pointing this out. These companies get too big and bloated. There's a bunch of middle management and project managers uh, doling out work that doesn't really need to be done half the time. Uh, I worked at Technicolor. I worked at Technicolor for uh, a year. And I worked at night when three of us were there. And we got all our work done. It's pretty much the same amount of work that the hundreds of people who are so eh, it's about 100 125 people who are there during the day it was me and two project managers that's right i had two project managers telling me what to do <laughs> i was pretty much doing all the work but the work wasn't like super hard okay it wasn't really that hard once you learned it it's very repetitive it was pretty easy work um and uh yeah so but three of us were getting that shit done. And quite frankly, it could have been two <laughs> for 12 hours. So I work from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m., four days a week. Got my three day weekends. Uh, but that's part of the problem. And what happens is if things get so bloated, and that's when the activists get in and they can force other people out. And and what happened was they created, I mean, people were afraid they were going to lose their job if they just, you know, said anything somewhat to the right. And now that's been entirely shut up and cleared up and not just right center. Cause, cause to these fucking whack jobs in Hollywood, being a centrist is, is white supremacy now. And, and Bob Iger is a motherfucker who let all these wolves in the door and they just brought them back <laughs> and people will oh, buy the stock. It's going to do good. Fucking Ugh. that's, you know, what you're going to do. Uh, have fun, have fun. It, you're, if you have some delusions of grandeur that your stock is going to be up to 300 bucks, you're, you're freaking high, high. Uh, amidst the downward spiral of Disney Hollywood, a crowdfunded Christian show is number three at the box office. Yes, that's right. Chosen, right? Is it called Chosen? Is there a lesson to be learned about quality slash message or will it be written off as, oh, those crazy religious nuts? A little bit, uh, Zis218. Thank you for the $19.99. Um, you know, Hollywood has its sanctified prejudices and bigotry. It's okay to be bigoted to white people and Christians and Christians of, of all makes shapes and sizes, by the way, not just white Christians, all Christians. It's totally okay to be bigoted towards them. So they're bigots. <laughs> they are. Um, yeah. They're going to, they're going to dismiss that. You're not going to like Hollywood is a cult and there's a lot of true believers, but there's also a lot of 
do what I can to get by people there who would like to say something, but they're not going to because they don't want to sacrifice that guest starring job on a soap opera. Not really sure. There are some actors who have paid the ultimate price, which keeps the other ones in line. Gina Carano, Gina Carano, Matthew Marsden. I've both been uh, pretty much canceled for their point of views, uh, but they've they've learned to to kind of wear that like armor now, and that's what more people need to do: is not get canceled. Uh, I I think being canceled is partially allowing it to happen, and Gina and Matthew didn't allow it to happen. It sucked, but they didn't allow it to happen. So that's going to be part of it. Um, I think Twitter played a huge part in that. No, I know Twitter played a huge, huge, huge part in that. And Elon uh, supposedly has put a stop to it. Now, I know Elon's not perfect. He's not doing everything that everybody agrees with. And I think it's unrealistic to expect everything. Like Alex Jones back in the next 20. That's just not how you play it. Remember, these are the same people who have convinced half the nation that January 6th was, was some kind of insurrection when people were let in where people were let in bad things happened, but that was after people were let in. Um, but like, as I was watching it, you know, because people were let in, uh, I think me and Jeremy were doing a stream. We're like, don't go in. Don't No, you're playing right into their hands. And they did. And they were able to completely, drown out because they are completely in control of everything the real issue which was the summer of love lots of people died lots of businesses were burned and destroyed forever and they were immune to covid for some reason so we have the state we have a state actor back in charge like bob Iger is straight up i mean the one thing you were right in, in like um it, straight up ESG dude, like he's gonna he's gonna be pushing all this shit. And this is like, what's weird? The synergy of life is. I was talking to, I'll say, a Hollywood actor. I was telling, talking to a Hollywood actor uh, on the phone, and and they were telling me that uh, like Disney's mad at at. All of us, not just me, but like all of us, you in the chat, they're mad. They're mad that their narrative's getting destroyed. We're over the target and they're scared. And like, I hang up the phone with him. We start our ancient uh, apocalypse live stream and uh, the Garrett's like, did you see this? And I'm like, what? He's like, Bob Chapek got fired. And I, like, at first I'm like, what is that movie poop shoot.com or no he's all no it's hollywood reporter i'm like holy fucking shit on a sunday night so whatever bad we saw publicly it must be 20 hundred times worse behind the scenes because disney is very much in control of the media narrative and narrative they can't control the stock price but there must be something else something else and i'm, I'm not saying like sexual misconduct no i'm saying they lost a lot of fucking money they lost a lot of money Remember, the box office estimates are estimates, are estimates from the studio. <laughs> so, you know, hey, happy Thanksgiving to you. I'm proud to be here through your evolution. Rock on. Make America metal again. Fuck yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, we, we need to get our uh, half of you do. You have your balls, ladies, metaphorical balls. OK, metaphorical balls. You have your balls. They're attached. They're hanging. They're doing good. We just need to pull the giant stick out of the ass of arrest the rest of America. And it's massive. That's a massive fucking stick that we need to uh, get out uh, and teach people to have fun again. But thank you, uh, Tyrannus Cygnus, for $10. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone out there and to the rest of the world. You should celebrate Thanksgiving, too. It's an awesome holiday. Turkey is good turkey is good stuffing is good mashed potatoes are good cranberry sauce is good uh i unfortunately i mean i'm gonna see my mom i want to see my mom but i am i'm gonna be without my family this thanksgiving because i'm going to cal i'm going back to cali Ugh. 
yeah, I'm going back to Cali tomorrow. Um, and I'm going to be there for like a week. Still going to make content, bringing all my stuff with me. Just be in a hotel room or, or Airbnb, whatever I decide. And uh, yeah, hitting the road tomorrow after the Real BBC. Uh, I'll be on the Real BBC at Naz's channel. We got big announcement. Big announcement tomorrow. So please tune in. 12 p.m. Central on Heel versus Babyface channel. Now, uh, Elon has, I guess, freed a lot of people. James O'Keefe. Uh, a lot of controversial people. Uh, and that's good. That's good. Twitter needs controversial people. The online, the world needs controversial people. Not even the ones you don't agree with. They need them. They need them. We need them. The world needs heretics. Okay. Uh, so. Do, 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 do. Okay. We got a couple more here. Uh, Warren Hughes for $10. Gary wanted to say thank you for staying optimistic about things. You guys are a great reminder that we aren't black pilled sheep. We are Robin hood and the merry men hail to the fellowship. That's exactly right. Oh yeah. So you know what gets us fired up is you guys what gets us fired up. So when we do those, those meetups and stuff, uh, the best part about it is like, I'll be off in a corner, like eating my lunch or something like that. And I'm watching all you guys like meet each other for the first time. It's like, Oh, I saw you in the chat. What's up. And then you guys go out to dinner together and stuff like that. And, and just the, the make of the crowd, which is just people. It's just people. Um, it, it, it fires us up. I hope it fires you up. This thing is real. And and sometimes it doesn't feel real because we're all alone in our rooms. You know, I'm sitting in front of a camera right now. But that that's a reminder that this, this whatever this thing is, is real. That we all fell into. I, I, I guarantee you, I did not wake up one day at Tesla while I'm watching Jeremy uh, on my phone while I'm fucking off at work. <laughs> hey, when you do what I did, when you do parts for, you know, almost 20 years, you get good enough to fuck off at work. Okay. Uh, so I'm watching Jeremy and I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm going to do this YouTube thing. It just kind of started. I was doing it for fun anyway, but, uh, it was, it was a video from Jeremy that it was kind of in the back of my head when, when things did start get going, I'm like, you know, I'm going to try this. Cause like, I can go back to parts anytime I want, you know, it's see, it's good to have a skill. It's very good to have a trade, a trade. And I don't have a single piece of paper that says I can do this trade other than my, my job experience and people that they can call, but I could go, you know, if things fall apart, I can go to the dealership right down the street and get a job tomorrow because I have a trade, something I never thought I would have. It's really important. Uh, so trade school is awesome and, and it's cheap. You don't need to like uh, take a bunch of stupid classes. You could just take the thing you want to take and just make money for the rest of your life. Good money. If you become a mechanic. But yeah, I never thought, I never thought I'd get into this. Jeremy didn't, we just kind of fell into it, but it, it, this is a, a natural thing. That's what bothers them. That's, that's Hollywood and the system. And, uh, ultimately it bothers big tech too. And when some of us try to push the boundaries a little bit, they, they, they whack us. That's why we need you guys to be here. Um, certainly do rumble, do the alternate stuff, but you gotta be here. You got to be here and you got to stay here. This is the belly of the beast. And, and it's best to do it from the belly of the beast. Like I said earlier in the live stream, we can't abandon culture. We need to win. We need to win. And we will. We will. Because we are the majority. We are the majority. And it's going to take a, it's going to take a long time. Look at how long it took to get here. It's not going to get fixed overnight. So yeah, stay positive. I mean, and, and, you know, like victories, they're not like all out victories, but like watching Disney suffer, uh, it's schadenfreude. It's fun. I enjoy it. I get a good laugh out of it because they fucking deserve it. Oh, but there's good people at Disney. I'm sure there is. I'm sure there is, um, but uh, I would say go work somewhere else because Disney's not a good corporation. It doesn't deserve you if you're a good person. Uh, let's go here. Thanks again for X-Ray Girls in the background. There. Thanks, X-Ray Girl, for helping out. Helping out here. Uh, 
Uh, where was I? Bump, 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 bump. Okay. Uh, Stuart Hamilton for twenty dollars. Hail, love your videos and live streams. Thank you, thank you. Hey, this is the first solo one I've done in a long time because uh, it's impromptu. I even made my own thumbnail because Perry's on vacation. Uh, it was impromptu because of the the news, the news that I just I wanted to kind of celebrate. I it, this was originally called Let's Party. <laughs> I thought it was a little too much, but it is the year of Get Woke Go Broke, isn't it? We're starting to see the the dominoes fall um i wish in my deepest darkest black heart that this was genuine that people went you know maybe woke storytelling is bad for society and dividing uh our culture or dividing our society through our culture is a bad thing but no it's money it's it's money it, they, they they still believe the way they believe and some people might come around but most of them won't but it's the some people that we need to grasp to is like, oh, we're getting some. That's good. That's good. And, and when we say getting, it's not the alt-right pipeline. It's come back to common sense. Join us here in the middle where we can all get along and enjoy movies and Star Wars and just can we do that? Um, and that might be a glimmer of possibility now. Mark E. Mark for 20 British pounds. That's proper, proper money. Uh, epic fail super sticker. Oh, I love that's a super sticker. I love it. Uh, accidental seller for 50 Norwegian krona. Yo, Gary, big FNT fan. By the way, I'm uh, no nut, no sex for life. Whoa. Okay. Starting now. <laughs> Are you going to... Okay, uh, a fun challenge. Wish me luck. Hashtag Buddha monk cycle. Hashtag celibate mind, mind state. Hashtag kids are a burden. <laughs> well, if you think kids are a burden, then don't have them. That would be probably, but um, yeah, I would say celibacy or at least a rubber, you know? <clears throat> yeah, don't go in there all bareback and you know what I'm saying. Uh, dudes need to take responsibility too. I love that. Like that whole, like, you know, when the controversy was going down, people were like, guys have to take responsibility too. It's like, yeah. Oh yes. Yes. Speak of my language. Uh, bill prime gaming for four 99 hail to the fellowship and to, uh, the Lord Gary, uh, just a guy, just a guy. Thank you. Uh, I love your live stream. Keep up the good work. Thank you, bill prime gaming. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Uh, I do. Um, so I put up on Twitter the other day that the Lord of the Rings, the ring. Oh, I said that wrong. Sorry. <sighs> Scratch. Rings of power fell out of the Nielsen top 10 immediately following its, um, it's it's final episode, which is bad considering that final episode aired on a Thursday, which gives it plenty of time for that week. The week cuts off on the following Sunday and it just died. It, it halved. It showed up in the originals list, right? So it showed up in the originals list at number five. It will be out of that, I guess, in the next week or two. But the originals is not like the streaming... My wife was asking, and it's a good question. It's like, why is Blacklist there and NCIS? And a lot of people were asking that. It's because 99.9% .9 of the shit that Hollywood is producing is garbage. I believe that's a Chris Gore video. Uh, and I think that's going to be a panel at the LA Comic Con on Saturday. That I might be at, by the way. Um, and yeah, the, the the streaming services, The you know what people watch? Harry Potter movies, um, Friends, The Office. That's that gets watched more than fucking anything, anything, anything. Um, so that that's why that's it's that important. And, and all this money they're putting in the new stuff. That's why Zasloff was like, do we need to put that much money into original content when I could just make, you know, discovery like reality shows? Like, I don't know if it's discovery. I can't remember, but like swamp people, you know, I could do shit like that all day long. It cost me nothing to make. Um, 
Uh, Oak Island is on its like 50th season and they finally discovered like a piece of gold. <laughs> Fucking, you know, it's like, uh, yeah, why not? Uh, bu- 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 let's see. Let's uh, let's let's see what John has to say about this. Our buddy John F. Trent over at Walt Disney Company attempts to solve its problems by rehiring the architect of its of those problems. <laughs> Bob Iger returns as CEO. Bob Chapik is out. He's his uh, John's headline game has gotten so much better over over the years. It really has. Uh, The Walt Disney Company announced that former CEO Bob Iger was named CEO. The weatherman, by the way. I call him the weatherman because that's what he used to be. Uh, The press release added Iger, who spent more than four decades at the company, including 15 years as its CEO, has agreed to serve as Disney CEO for two years with a mandate from the board to set the strategic direction for renewed growth and to work closely with the board in developing a successor to lead, blah, 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 company, company, blah, 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 blah. Look how much uh, Bob Iger or Bob Chapek's bald and Natalie Portman's short. Uh, Disney chairman uh, of the board, Susan Arnold. Uh, we thank Bob for being a sacrificial lamb. Now fuck off. That's basically uh, what he said, what she said right there. That's what she said. <sighs> so the stock price is going to go up and like a one, when, when is, when are things going to change? When are things going to change? And uh, the question I asked earlier in the live stream, just in case you missed it, uh, the layoffs and cutbacks that Bob Chapek announced, did Bob Iger come in and immediately undo those or are they, staying put i'm guessing they're staying put and bob Iger's gonna go i cannot make the soup sorry sorry not sorry not sorry uh jay's prime for 19.99 literally dropping this 20 just to applaud your comment if you think kids are a burden then don't have them (laughs) oh thanks uh uh there would have uh, there would have been way less stupid and dangerous people in the world. Yep. Yep. Uh, you know, there was a time I thought kids were a burden until I didn't think that. And it was mostly when I was a kid. When I got older, kids are not a burden at all. I don't, I don't, no, they're awesome. Brilliant. Couldn't imagine my life without them. Uh, Slade Lawton for four ninety nine. Gary, most people my age are broke and in college. Disney is chasing a non existent dollar. Yes, uh, I was not in college and broke too at one time. At one time, ah, oh, I forgot his name. Not the guy who comedian who does the little TikTok videos where he was talking about um, not being able to afford a house now. And he's all, yeah, it's because you only needed $6 down on your house. And, and, you know, it was was a funny video. But then I thought about it. And I'm like, shut up, Gen Z. Shut the hell up. Houses were expensive when I was young, too. And I couldn't afford it when I was young, too. I did this thing called work. I worked my ass off for a long fucking time and saved money and bought a piece of shit condo and then traded up over decades. That's how it's done. That's how it's done. But eventually you get there. You get there. Time passes. Time passes pretty fast when you get older. So you want to be more comfortable when you're older and not, I don't know, squander. And I'm not even like, ask my wife. I'm not frugal. (laughs) I'm not frugal. And I wasn't great with my money back in the day, but I managed to do a couple things right. uh, And it took a long fucking time to get here. A long time to get here. And you can do it too. But if you have that attitude, like, fuck it, I'm never going to be able to afford a house, then you won't. Then you won't. I'll never, you know, I, that's that's what I told my uh, my new sponsees in AA. I'm never going to be sober. Well, then you won't be. Guess you're just going to either die, end up in jail, or an institution. How's that sound? You know? 
Uh, Slawa Boga. Oh my God. I probably just destroyed that name. I'm sorry for five dollars. Gary, I foresee only two ways out of this appalling state of affairs in the West, a long reconstruction back to Christ or a ruinous war or both. <clears throat> I sure hope it doesn't get to that. I do see a resurgence, a resurgence in people going to church. I do. I do. Amongst my generation, which was the uh, atheist generation, which is the agnostic generation. So I'm seeing, I'm seeing that. I think it's, uh, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with being spiritual. You don't necessarily have to be Christian, but being spiritual, I think is very important. So yeah, I, I, we are going through a, a major paradigm shift right now. And maybe that's what the Mayan calendar was all about, not to get woo-woo on you, but it wasn't about some cataclysmic event or war. It was just a shift, one that you can't put your finger on, a shift in the matrix, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> uh, but it was a shift of perception of, of like, you know, we've been doing this thing for a while and maybe it needs to be improved a little bit. Uh, maybe the foundation's there but we just need to keep improving it. And then there's some people who just want to destroy it and sit around and make Etsy art. And then they'll be really shocked to find out that they will be assigned to a salt mine instead. <laughs> That's what you're fighting. <laughs> we are fighting. Doey, 499. I was actually radicalized by X-Ray Girl. Well, she does that. Was it her feet? Uh, first discovered you all through her streaming with uh star wars theory last halloween oh ha after i found her gary and feb well there you go x-ray girl pipeline to the alt-right there's your next t-shirt x-ray girl uh to the thought right <laughs> the thought right uh barking schnauzer which is a very accurate name because that's all schnauzers do is fucking bark you want to know how i know that you want to know why I will never have one of those dogs is because my mom loved schnauzers and that's all she has. And they fucking bark all the time. I hate them. I don't like them. Uh, so more than 50% of the fan base is either Gen X or boomers who have, uh, who have usually a strong dislike towards the modern woke message. And they still decide to cater to the 9% of their viewers that's right um it was paramount plus correct me if i'm wrong chat was it was it not paramount not paramount plus paramount who just hired a bunch of tiktokers to make content for the movie studio tiktokers tiktokers that that's like hiring it's like hiring break dancers <laughs> to, to to make studio decisions for you back in the eighties. That's like hiring uh, people who are really good at pogs uh, to make decisions for you at the studio. Uh, fantastic. Mr. Knox for 10 Australian dollars. Thanks for bringing your content to us. Oh, thanks for being here. Uh, it sure gets my day going here in the land down under. Well, you've been around a long time. Fantastic. Mr. Knox. So we appreciate you being around for so long and, I'm sorry about the state of affairs in Australia. Hopefully things turn around. I want to go there. I want to go there. I want to camp uh, at the uh, at the refinery from Road Warrior because you can. <laughs> and it's cheap. And I want to do it. Uh, Chris Rose for $10. Iger bought Star Wars for $4.05 bill billion. With all the expensive failures, Galactic Star Cruiser, Solo, The Last Jedi, do you think Disney made any money on it? That's that's hard to say because um, you'll you'll hear the pundits out there going, "Well, the movies made billions, yeah, but the movies cost billions, and they had to share a bunch with the movie theaters, and you had to pay the actors, and the da 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 da." I would say they're at the break even mode, but they didn't buy. Star Wars for 4.05. Well, you know, you can't the to toys. They made money on the toys. Let's be real. They made money on the toys. But um, outside of that, 
they didn't do it to just make money for a little while that you don't buy star Wars to make money for a little while. You may, you buy star Wars to make money forever, forever. And not just a little bit of money, not diminishing returns, money billions that you can build upon over a long, long time. Disney has had star Wars for 10 years. You can't tell me it's in good shape. And by the way, when Galactic Star Cruiser was being introduced, when Galaxy's Edge was being introduced, when Solo came out, Last Jedi came out, who was the CEO of Disney? You know the answer. The weatherman. Eric John Pizza Art. By the way, you rule, dude. I've got like this big framed pizza art image of, of me. It's, it's weird. And it's awesome. So Eric John Pizza Art. Thank you. Uh, hey, Gary. <clears throat> I can talk. Drink. Uh, nervous drinking here. Sorry. Mm. And I want to apologize to all the homies. I'm a loser. I have a studio in my house. <clears throat> I don't have any bitches. Uh, my bitches are gone right now. My two female dogs are gone. I'm, I'm just a loser. Uh, hail Eric July, by the way. Hey, Gary. Uh, do you think a new hope is too much for a five and a half year old? No. <clears throat> Not at all. I'd say show it to them right now. Show it to them. I don't, I can't, I've assumed it's a boy. Uh, I could think of two scenes that I might skip. Otherwise, not sure. Um, arm getting chopped off. You might want to skip that because it just might be scary. But then like the trash compactor might be scary to him too because there's a little beast. You're the dad. You be the judge. I would show it to my kid without a, uh, I, uh, my kid finally, uh, watched Mad Max. I think he would, I felt like he was old enough to watch Mad Max. So I left him like, I didn't even watch. I was like busy working. So he watched it on his own. Like the original version with the Australian dub, not the terrible English dub. And he loved it and he loved it. But, uh, you know, yeah, I would say skip, uh, definitely skip the the arm being chopped off. Uh, Dark Dino Chris for $9.99. The pound is no longer proper money. Oh, well, that's our fault though. Dark. I mean, like that's our fault. It's not your fault. That's America's fault. That's my president, Mr. Poopy Pants' fault. Um, in a good way, you don't have to skip if your kids are like you get to a scene that you think is questionable, you just distract them with food. You go, ooh, snack time. Look at this, snacks. And they just go, ooh. And they, they don't see the arm getting chopped off. It's old, old trick, old parent trick. Uh, two plus two is not five for $10. The meme material I made off of the following two plus two is not five. Uh, that Omni guy, go check it out. Well, there's the meme material has just been ripe. This is the year of the meme. It, it's, it's, it, and, and memeing Hollywood. Uh, the, the best part is after denial upon denial upon denial that woke Hollywood was hurting Hollywood, that fans were pissed off, that we're tired of all the woke bullshit, things like MCU don't exist. We're just a small minority. That narrative is dead. Oh, the, sure. Some shills are going to still try to push that because they're in their little fucking Hollywood bubble. But us, I'm sorry, according to the uh, Daily Wire or Jeremy Boring from the Daily Wire, us less prominent folks, which I'm very proud to be, um, no otherwise, because we're the ones who pay for everything. And, you know, I, I get story upon story from people who pay attention going, you know, uh, my normie friend said, you know, this stuff is really woke and stupid. I hear that story all the time. I also get more emails than I ever have from people who work in Hollywood going, you're right over the target. You're doing good. I just can't say anything yet. And I can't tell you how many times I've said that. And, and I say the same thing. I say, it's great if they hear it from me, better if they hear it from you. Much better if they hear it from you. And, and there are some you're going to start hearing it from. Like once people like Quentin Tarantino kind of open the door for people, you're going to hear more people saying it. So... Sean Godley for $10 just jumped on it. And I'm dying to know where can I get that shirt? Uh, big Raj who's in the chat. 
uh, sent me this shirt. I don't know where from, but it was a direct ship. So if you hit up Big Raj, he might still be here. Uh, he can tell you where to get the shirt. He sent it to me. Uh, I met him at Universal. He's, again, been around for a long, long time. Uh, good guy. Uh, Josh T for $14.99 Australian. Gen X Mail owns four. Uh, Gen X Mail owned 4,000 plus DVDs and Blu-rays. Hollywood does not cater to my tastes anymore. So I haven't bought anything from the MCU, Star Wars, Star Trek, or Doctor Who in a long time. Neither have I. Right there with you, Josh. I've been just, uh, the future is in the past. Oh, I found the best toy store, and it's right here in San, San Antonio. It's like heaven. It's like if I made a toy store, I would make it exactly like this. All right, the guy didn't ask me to do this, but I'm doing it. It's called Toy Hunters. I don't know if you can see that. Go to the website. Go to the Instagram. Go check it out. But it's got, and, and it's connected to like um, a military paraphernalia st uh, store that's his dad's. But this is, it's all vintage toys from floor to ceiling, stacked on top of each other, bins of loose figures, uh, old vintage stuff. I sent Jeremy a picture of uh, a G.I. Joe section. Uh, yeah, it, like, it's fucking great. My wife found it. And then I found it. She, she gets back. She goes, this place is awesome. You should go. Oh, no, you shouldn't go there. As a matter of fact, no, you cannot go there. And then I went there. <laughs> and then I went there and spent a couple of hours. Um, it's freaking great. So it's called Toy Hunters. It's in San Antonio. I cannot say the name of the street. 14910 Nakadojo's Road. Uh, it's called Toy Hunters. Just like, If you're in San Antonio, go there. If you're a collector, go there. It's like a, a con in a shop. It's freaking magnificent. It's beautiful. Uh, I teared up a little bit when I was in there. So Ruin of House Roundhead. For, uh, uh, and I'm going to be plugging this guy a lot because he was a super cool dude. Super cool dude. They got good good staff, good customer service, all the things you like. Um, so Ruin of House Roundhead. What's up, my friend? I saw the Joker with this guy in New York. Uh, thank you for the nine ninety nine. When do you think Marvel gets uh, desperate enough to bring back Iron Man and Captain America? Uh, very soon. <laughs> also, you are not excited about Strange Planet? No, I'm not. But it has pride messaging in it. You are, uh, you are an is and an ism. Then, yes, I am. I am a bigot. I'm a bigot because I don't want to watch gay cartoons. Um, it's fine. You call me a bigot, and I won't give you money. That's how this goes. We'll see how that works out for you, because I'll be fine. I'll I'll be just fine keeping my money and giving it to somebody who deserves it. Uh, and also, I don't subscribe to your fucking streaming service. Uh, as I said yesterday, last night, I don't subscribe to Netflix. I, I have access, but I don't. They don't get my money. I don't buy new comics. I don't buy new toys. If I get anything that's even remotely new, it's I buy it from a person on eBay or from a store secondhand. I do not give these companies money directly anymore that I that I can help. Now, you know, I have no idea how many companies Disney actually owns. So but uh yeah, it, it's 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 difficult not to do do that with these multi-conglomerate companies that are practically fucking monopolies and I guess antitrust just doesn't mean shit anymore or it never did in the first place and it was just it basically antitrust was there to support the monopolies let's be real uh, Pavel Sevic for 100 Czechoslovakian pesos thank you very much hey Gary uh, for some reason this stream is not showing up on my subscription feed shadow banned by Big Mama uh, for ancient apocalypse reviews anyway uh, keep it going thank you for the streams thank you was that the uh, ancient? Is it this stream or uh, Ancient Apocalypse was getting shadow banned for sure? I don't know if this one is. Can you guys see it on your subscription feed? That's been going. That started. I know it's a coincidence, right, Mama Susan? Shadow banning of live streams and not just mine started right around the midterms. Right around the last time they did it.
right around the okay so you can see it that's good that's good the numbers are great i ain't complaining <laughs> that's awesome for an impromptu stream and it's just me 7400 of you here thank you uh Cerebus for 20 dollars man that is a crazy comic book by a crazy dude uh gary uh, you are rough edged, real, and refreshing. Thanks for being all three all the time. Oh, sure. Yeah, I have, uh, I'm very crass. So thank you. I, I am very proud to be very crass and uneducated uh, and uh, wouldn't have it any other way. Thank you. Sir Clive Calculator for a uh, pound 79. Gary, look on YouTube for Dallas Vintage Toys. <clears throat> oh, I will. I will. Dallas isn't close to me, though. I had no, I, I knew Texas was big, and to, but I had no idea until I moved here. And I'm like, hey, Garrett, how far away from me? He's like, yeah, five hours. I'm like, what? What? That's like from San Francisco to LA. That's far. Uh, Austin, I'm close to. I can get to Austin in an hour and a half, which is about as close to Austin as I want to get. <laughs> The Happy Plague Doctor for $10. I just paid off my Ford Expedition today. Oh, good for you. A three-bedroom house on a half-acre, three vehicles, two dogs, and a 20-year-old daughter, all paid for and debt-free. Get to work, kids. Absolutely. Absolutely. And listen, just to get your hopes up, I was like a mega loser. Like loser. I, I like, I was homeless. I filed for bankruptcy. Like, total loser. You know what filing for bankruptcy does to your effing credit? It destroys it for, for years, years, years. And I was able to get out of that. Have good credit now. Everything's paid off. Uh, because I uh, I saved. My wife saved. And we worked very hard for a long time. But, like, we didn't, like, it wasn't, we liked to work. You know, everybody's like so, so quick to get out of work. And I know some people just don't want to do it, but like we, we are wired to have, to need meaning. We need meaning. However we find it, we have to have something to work for. We're hardwired for that. Uh, DS Madara for $10 says, if Bob Iger is back, does this mean Kathleen Abeloth? Is that a really Abeloth Kennedy? Is that her middle name? Abeloth? That's a weird middle name. Uh, going to be CEO forever now? I, She's not going before um, the disastrous fucking Indiana Jones movie that just looks... I mean, like I saw the promotional photo. Like, Please tell me why Phoebe Waller-Bridge? What's, what's the big deal with this? She's not funny. She's fucking woke. And she ain't very pretty. So I... I I'm just not getting what her thing is. I think she's a, a like a super darling of the mega left. And uh I I didn't think there would be a worse casting decision than Shalabo in a in an Indiana Jones film, but they did it. They did it. Shalabo. I think he's come around though. Hasn't he come around? Poor kids. These poor kids in Hollywood, they're they're just so fucked up. Didn't um the Green Ranger, I'm sorry I'm forgetting his name. Didn't he just commit suicide? You know, yes, he's 49, but like Hollywood just it's and yeah, it's Petawood. Uh, but there's also, you know, the famous fleeting thing and how it fucks with these kids' minds and how parents like don't set them up for that. It's like if you love your kids, don't put don't 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 let them anywhere near Hollywood. No, just the answer is no. No. Uh, thank you for being awesome, Gary. Uh, hail to you and us. Oh, it says you, U.S. I thought it said you and us. Thank you, Phantom XOF, for $1.99. I appreciate it. Hail to you. Gunstar One for $9.99. As a dune dork and the son of a Lord of the Rings fan, I am uh, proud of to be a part of the fellowship. Hell yeah. Hey, um, maybe I said this. I rewatched Dune. Nerd Cookies will be happy to hear this. I was watching one of her videos, one of her lore videos. I'm like, 
no, I got a cup. I got three hours to kill, which I usually don't. I'm going to watch Dune again, but I'm watching my home theater. For one, looked beautiful. It looked gorgeous. It is like one of the best 4K transfer. Most 4K transfers are shit. Uh, Tom, I know, I know you agree with me from Midnight's Edge. Most 4K transfers are shit. The reason they're shit is because they're not real 4K transfers. So as somebody who transferred Blu-ray, but not 4K, but it was Blu-ray back in the day when I did it, um, most of it was, uh, it wasn't 1080p. Okay. It was 1080i, which was 720p. That's what most of your Blu-ray discs. And I'm guessing the same thing's going on with 4K, but there are some like really good transfers. It looked beautiful and I liked it. I liked it more the second time around. I did. I'm kind of into the story. I wasn't like really into the story. I'm like, hey, and I don't like how it ended. I don't like if the second movie, which will be the rest of the book, I'll probably like it more, but uh, I just don't like where it ended. But otherwise, I thought it was really fucking good. I, I like, I'd watch it again. I would. Uh, Stuttering Craig. What's up, Stuttering Craig? It was uh, nice to kind of meet you in the chat for G&G. Didn't see it the, in Florida, unfortunately. What's up, brother? Uh, hey, Gary. Unfortunately, I had to leave before you could, we could meet in, in a G&G Orlando house. Love your message and hope to have an opportunity to work together eventually as a native Texan up in Dallas. It's great to have you in the Lone Star State. Thanks. And we will. We definitely will. Thank you for the $50, Stuttering Craig. Yeah, we'll definitely talk. Jeremy had a lot of good things to say, like in private, you know, when he usually talks shit about people. No, I'm just kidding. Kind of. Uh, Deano, uh, I'm just giving you shit, Jeremy. I, I live to give Jeremy shit, okay, uh, for 10 pounds. says, the AMC guy got a 3.75 million bonus at the time when many of the company's employees had been laid off and some of its theaters were closed during the lockdowns. Yeah. I saw uh, our, our boy, John Campia. Uh, raging on the guy. Like he hates the guy and he, you, you know, he worked at AMC. So he, I mean, I'll give him that. He would know, he would know what, the, and yeah, the guy took a bonus after laying people off piece of shit, piece of shits. Look out for each other. They do. They do. I corporations exist. Uh, I don't think that the best part of capitalism personally I like the mom and pop or the creative uh, genius running his company. I'm down with that. I'm down with like uh, Elon making billions. I'm totally fine with that. I, I, but uh, yeah, I just, I don't know. You got to think about the the kind of person who wants to be a CEO or a president, right? Because like once you accept that job, man or woman, you will be responsible for ruining many, many lives, whether you intended to or not. And in the case of a president and maybe even CEO, uh, you're going to be responsible for the death of a lot of people, men, women, and children. And you have to be okay with that to take that position. Jedi Brooks for 10 Canadian pesos. I finally hit 1000 subs today. Congratulations. Thanks to my rings of power video. <laughs> Dude, that just thing, that thing keeps going. It keeps going. It does. Uh, but I also messed up the audio. Well, that's, part of the process anything i need to know before applying uh any mike brand recommendations uh been here since thirty thousand. yeah i would um start small on your mic oh god if garrett's back out there there is a mic that's xlr that's like 150 bucks and it's my travel mic email me and i'll shoot you i'll shoot you the email uh or hit up quarter black garrett and he'll tell you what the brand is they're really good this is like super expensive, but it's a, it's a good mic. But the other ones, I would say, work just as good. And they're like a eh, fifth of the price. Uh, mic is the most important thing, more important than camera. Like you can work off a 720p camera if you got you got to get that good mic and get rid of that room echo. Um, because a lot of people, uh, more people, I think, listen to YouTube than watch it. Uh Slava Boga for $10. I don't think we win by working within the current system. It is how to, uh, it's, it is now too good at removing counter elites. 
Uh, that family who sits on the top of the world for 600 billion and their fellow ethnos close ranks. Yeah. Um, what other way do we win? Destroying the system? Um, it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. Uh, what you do is we have one billionaire breaking ranks right now and not even totally breaking ranks just breaking ranks and look at how much they're threatened that should encourage you that should encourage you just because a fight is nearly oh, like what what's our favorite part about star wars luke skywalker had no fucking chance the rebels had no chance but we like the story because the odds were insurmountable well they are here doesn't mean we don't fight it's going to be tough we're going to take losses but i i think I, they're vulnerable as hell right now uh because they've pushed too many things too far too fast and they failed they failed Uh, just to let you know, the Democrats had every intention of winning the House. Oh, yes, they did. And they didn't. I think people should keep that in mind. Felix for $12. Hey, I am from Austria, Europe, and I am Siri. Uh, was a big fan of Marvel. It says S. It says M S R Y. That's probably a typo. Sorry. Uh, was a big fan of Marvel and Star Wars since I was a kid. I hate how woke all it got, and I love your content. Keep it up. Hashtag Obi-Wan broke me. It broke a lot of people, man. Yeah. You McGregor sold out for nothing. Uh, neon clear for $10. Send Quarter Black back. We miss him. Well, he's around. He's got lots of streaming to do today. He's got lots of streaming to do today. And, and I had him editing till like two in the morning last night. He did a great job in the video as huge as huge. Um, I got to finish recording another one that'll come out a couple days while I'm on the road and then I'll make videos from the road. I have a couple of big ones planned though. So they get that. They, they got to take time. I need to get them out for the end of the month, which is in nine days. But I, I'll be honest with you. I can't, I can't wait to hit the road. I just, yeah, I don't want to sit here alone without my family. My dogs aren't even here. <laughs> it sucks. Uh, but that's okay. Cause I got neighbors and security and I'm in Texas. So I'm surrounded by armed people. It's awesome. Uh, Ian Carlos for nine 99. Don't, don't know if it's possible, but I'd love you guys to do a meetup here in Minnesota and we can talk about ancient apocalypse in person. I don't know if like, I don't know if I get to Minnesota. I don't, I, I don't have any family there anymore. I used to, I think the closest I would get is maybe South Dakota. If I go see uh, a couple of my cousins, uh, Wisconsin's possible. I don't know how far that is for you. It's closer than Texas. Wisconsin is possible because I'm going to Wisconsin next summer. Uh, Foxy Loxy for 200 Danish Krona. So what's the point of buying XYZ established IP with attached fan base if they're going to butcher it, alienate said base, and ultimately not make any money on it? The logic escapes me. First time chat. Hey, thanks for being here. And it's, that is a magnificent question that has been asked over and over again. And we have been trying to find the answer, and we have it now. We are going, uh, the company buys established IP, probably initially with the intention of making lots of money and making the fans happy. I'll even go that far. But then the minimum management gets in, and then times a change, and then an orange man becomes president, and then there's a bunch of riots after Oscar So White, after. Uh, the previous administration 
who happened to be the first black president, spent a lot of time dividing this nation. And we reap the quote unquote benefits of that decision during a summer of love after a pandemic where shit burns down after people, after like what could have been perceived as the nation coming together was split apart because activists for a living need something to be an activist about. So all of that permeated our culture. Hollywood being a bunch of rich elites who pretend for a living freak the fuck out because they know they're the first mansion that's going to get burned down. They're like, no, 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 no. We're one of you. We'll one, one. So we'll completely overreact by showing our true racism and treating you all like a bunch of children and call you marginalized and silenced all the time, which is the most racist thing you can do to an individual. Um, ultimately, you know, for one, the, I'll use their language. The baseline is life isn't fair. Life isn't fair. There is economic privilege. Yeah. But uh, I, I think you got to think think twice before you try to sell white privilege, considering that there's more poor white people than anybody in this country. <clears throat> uh, men, in particular, go to prison more, get longer sentences, die more by suicide, get uh, more... The, uh, the vast majority are the victim of violence. <clears throat> and the pay gap is bullshit uh, because there's not a lot of women working in sewage and construction, um, a lot of women in middle management, but that's not going to pay as much as an underwater welder uh, who can make, uh, God, it was $100 an hour 20 years ago. I don't know what it is now. Uh, it's a lot of money. <clears throat> <clears throat> but Hollywood played into that fucking game. So how do we get here? Well, these activists hijack I established IPs because they did try to make their own entertainment and nobody fucking wants it. Nobody wants it. So the best way to do it is infiltrate what's established. And that's how you change the culture because politics is downstream from culture. This is something Jeremy, yours truly, Ryan, as everybody on Friday Night Tights has been trying to tell the right, the pundits on the right. Because you know what? We, we need balance. Right. And we're not getting it from the wacko left. Now, <clears throat> the normal left is abandoning the wacko left because they don't feel part of it anymore because they aren't that they're, they're just not. It's the authoritarian left. Now that's what it is. It's the authoritarian left. And who was the most authoritarian during the pandemic? Fucking Hollywood. Fucking Hollywood, the free artists wanted you locked down and masked up and they showed their true colors, which a lot of us already knew. So those activists hijacked Star Wars. They hijacked Star Trek. They hijacked Marvel Comics, DC Comics. Got rid of any opposing voice. And it became more important than money because the cause is more important than money. And what we need is people who are about the cause and that cause is saving our culture, bringing balance back to the world. We need people believing, you know, because like them or not, as long as they stayed in their little lanes, they were lockstep. They were lockstep and that's how they won. They won because a bunch of people blackpilled. That's how they fucking won. A bunch of people blackpilled said, fuck Hollywood, fuck this, fuck this, fuck culture. Whatever. I'm just going to go away and uh, hide my head in the sand and the problem will go away, except it doesn't. Except it doesn't. And it gets worse. It's a cancer and it's gotten worse. So we're going to be the ones to fight it. And you know what? Be grateful that it's just like us talking and we're not having to invade a beach in Normandy and watch our friends get evaporated by bullets. We don't want to get to that. We don't want to get to that. Uh, hold uh, hot dog man for five dollars says prime rib is better than turkey for Thanksgiving. Fight me. No, no, I like prime rib too. I'll eat them both. 
uh, accident seller for 50 Norwegian Krona. Gary, you're smart. I don't know about that. Uh, you should watch Andor. No. Uh, Stone Skarsgård is amazing. He is an amazing actor, and I liked him, like him a lot. Uh, watch the clip. Luthien Rail versus Cantwell class Arister Cruiser scene on YouTube. I might, but I'm not going to watch the show. Um, and, and the reason is like, it's just pure lack of interest. I don't care about that world anymore. And it's very generic and boring. Um, and it goes deeper than like, you know, I've heard, believe it or not, I've heard like, why did you go back to game of Thrones? Well, game of Thrones as bad as it was, didn't alienate its audience. Like Disney star Wars did. Those are two very different beasts. Very, very different beasts. Um, I'm not on the Game of Thrones train yet either. I watched and enjoyed a season, but they certainly right, uh, corrected some mistakes so far that Game of Thrones made, but it was never, it did get woke at the end. Uh, some actors got a little bitter, called out some fans, but it wasn't this constant barrage of your racists and your alt-right. And it wasn't creatives who were working at HBO who are working in concert with people in the media to degrade fans, which is exactly what Lucasfilm was doing. People who currently work there to this very fucking day were trying to destroy the reputations of individual fans who just voiced their opinion on YouTube. And it's a broad range. Reading, rewriting Ripley uh, didn't just come from nowhere. That's an ex-Lucasfilm employee and other Lucasfilm employees working together to take out YouTubers. It's a co corporation. So why would they do that if we weren't making some inroads? And why would they do that if we weren't breaking their fucking fucked up San Francisco Bay Area narrative. Awesome. Saw some games for $10. Hail Friday Night Tights. Uh, hail. Sorry. Why did I say Friday Night Tights? Hail. First time donator. Long time viewer. There you go. Started a small business on eBay selling video games. Awesome. Uh, if the fellowship wouldn't mind checking out my store. Well, awesome. Yeah, dude. People like old video games. I'd be uh, eternally grateful. I love this community. Hail fellowship down with the groomers so is it called awesome saw some games is that it now it's on the stream lab side go check it out on ebay i'll check it out on ebay uh good luck good luck that's you know maybe it'll turn into like a storefront that'd be kind of awesome uh wolf pack six for ten dollars gary love your show you're right we shouldn't give up uh, at the same time, the cultural Marxists have destroyed our traditional entertainment franchises. We're probably going to need serious retcons. Uh, serious retcons. Um, I would say more original entertainment. So, something might come down the pipe. You never know. You never know. Like, there's people who like Zack Snyder. There's people who don't. I personally think he's weak. I think he's a coward. Um I think what uh, what he did on that charity event was unconscionable. I think he was a, a bitch, a fucking bitch for doing that. Um, I think Jeremy took far too much responsibility for that when he had no power over what that fuck was going to say. That being said, I like a couple of his movies and I was watching uh, some Rebel Moon stuff and at least like he tried to take it to Star Wars and this was before Disney took over and gave him the concept they never did anything with it so he just went on his own and and made his own that's what we need more of hopefully we can get it from like really good directors like matthew vaughn you know or david Ayer, uh because yes david Ayer is a better director than Zack snyder is just is uh tea down under for 10 australian dollars pineapple on thanksgiving turkey uh, i wouldn't even go that far but you know what i'm not against it i put cranberry sauce on my thanksgiving turkey I do. I put it on the turkey. A lot of people do that, right? Uh, Sean Godley for $10. Game of Thrones disappointed the fans and wanted to recover their trust. Disney alienated the fans and just doubled down to shift the blame. Put it put way better than I did it, Sean Godley. Thank you. Absolutely true. Uh, new people were involved. They're like, hey, we got this IP. 
And sure, we're still wacko Hollywood left, but we're not going to go nuts. A couple of actors said their shit, uh, but for the most part, and I mean 95% of it, Ryan Kandel, the showrunner, stayed out of it and just went, I'm a fan of the books. We're going to follow the books. We're going to do what George says. Um, and as mad as I am at George, guy's a brilliant writer. Brilliant writer. Not a very good planner, not a very good man with commitments, um, you know, but good writer. Uh, big worm for $20. Hail, uh, hail fellowship. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to you. All the, uh, all the only people, the only people who say prime rib is greater than turkey for Thanksgiving are people who haven't had my turkey. <laughs> Cooking for 40 plus years on Thursday. F Disney and Paramount save Stargate from Bezos. Live long and prosper. Yeah, get that away from that fuck. You know what? Maybe I'll uh, I'll do my Stargate watchathon soon. Somebody was kind enough to send me all of it. So uh, I'm going to watch it. Andrew Nicholas Joseph Benit uh Benet Benanado. I fucked that up. I'm sorry. Thank you for the $10 donation. I'm sorry, I messed up your name. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh my lord. Um, Christian Delorme for five Canadian pesos. Hey man, a fan since 10,000. I remember long time no see. Trucker from Canada. Thanks for being the new art bell. Cheers, buddy. Well, hey, hang on. I know you're a trucker. As for you, uh, long time no speak, been away for a while, went a bit crazy, and decided to go back to uni after 20 years. What uh, have I missed? Are you, uh, how are you, and everyone else says randomized for 449. Uh, we're doing good, Hollywood's falling apart. Um, Disney's a fucking disaster. Amazon's a disaster. Rings of Power is a failure. Uh, Wakanda Forever is dropping like a rock. Yeah, it's going down just like we thought it would. They should have listened. Uh, Charles W. Jansen, second for $5. Does Doomcock wear a dictory hat? Well, he's got a helmet. I guess you could put your hat on your helmet, though. You could salty Fox for $5, 100 years of Disney. Well, they had a good run. They did. Oh, that's right. It's a hundred years, hundred years. Um, Walt is spinning headless in his grave right now while his head is spinning in the, whatever, uh, nitrogen or whatever it's in, uh, man of war six, six, five, the neighbor of the beast. What's up, brother? Being a retired, uh, being a retiree of 30 plus years experience in the gravity sewer game just became the main blockage is removed. Doesn't mean the pipe still ain't full of shit. Oh, and fuck. Uh, what is this? And fuck. Oh, my God. I'm supposed to know this and I don't. W.O.T.C. Wheel of time. No. I'm supposed to know this. Sorry, man of war. I fucked that up. Space Monkey 0899 for 499. The Tramps song Disco Inferno perfectly describes how I feel about Disney's self-destruction. Burn, baby, burn. Yeah, they should somebody should do a Disney Inferno. Disney Inferno. I almost uh, one of the other titles I was working with was Panic at the Disney, but I thought I don't know how many people would get that. Because Panic at the Disco. Is not uh, they were never a great band, but uh, are, are they? Do people even give a shit about them anymore? A knock them on for five dollars. Now remember when things look bad and it looks like you're not going to make it, then you got to get mean. I mean, mean, plum, mad dog, mean. Because if you, you lose your head and you give up, then you're neither live nor win. Uh, that's just the way it is. Josie Wales. God, I need to see that movie again. That's the. Greatest fucking Western. Great quotes in Aquaman. The man is right. Uh, Lutha Sunspell for four ninety nine. Star Wars didn't have to be rocket science. Just adapt the Thrawn books uh, and the Yuzan Vong War. Mara Jade would have sold. Yeah, uh, adapt the EU. It was really fucking simple. And uh, Disney. 
Disney fucked up an easy lay. That's what they did. Uh, Luther Sunspell, Star Wars didn't have to be. Oh, I read that one. Celebrities make so much money. It keeps moving on me. Okay. Celebrity makes so much money. They lost touch with us. They see us as wrong and evil. They are serious about their narrative, though. Uh, Charles W. Jansen, the second for 501. That's what we have to keep in mind. We don't want to become a cult. We don't want to be canceling people if somebody says, like Jeremy Boring said something fucking stupid. You know, I'm not saying cancel the Daily Wire or anything. He just said something stupid on Twitter. We, we all do that. That's fine. Um, but we need to be serious. So in, in that conversation I had with the actor yesterday, like it's, it's always been about something bigger than star Wars, star Trek, doctor who it's always been something bigger. It's not just that individual IP. It's the culture. Hot dog dragon for $5. Dude, I love your channel. You've been spot on with your spicy takes on everything. And I'm related, uh, and, uh, everything nerd related and I'm here for it. Why can't Disney just write a good fucking story for once? Um, because when somebody tries, they get cock blocked by some stupid fucking activist and they don't like right now. I think there are talented people there who just fucking mail it and mail it in. So they don't get fucking canceled by some 22 year old that they might've said something offensive and they won't even know what it is half the time. And this manipulative 22 year old knows what the fuck they're doing. They know what they're doing. It's, it's a power play. It's a power play. And a lot of times uh, I think people see in Hollywood that the best way to play is to not. The problem is though, that's again, that's walking away and not calling this shit out. Matthew Hammond for four ninety nine. You are right on uh, being positive because the first people to get fired are ESG diversity hires if they are trying to make money. Yep, they will be gone. Uh, Gerald Armstrong for a dollar ninety nine. Normies think this is a good thing. Yeah, I saw a lot of that with uh, Bob Iger coming back, and we need to really get the word out there. This is not a good thing. <laughs> it's not. I mean, it. Okay, if you're a content creator. This is a great thing. Oh my God, Christmas came early. But for the culture, for the world, for entertainment, for things you like, this is a fucking terrible thing. It's a terrible thing. Love your content, sir. I enjoy watching your streams uh, for both entertainment and to learn some things. Wow. Uh, so thank you uh, for working so hard. Have a five on me. Thank you, Charles the Conqueror. I appreciate it. Rev L... Rebel scum for five dollars. I cancel Disney and sub to you and Drinker's movie uh, instead. Good, good support Drinker for sure. Keep fighting, bro. Much love. There, you want to support a good creative endeavor. He's Drinker's got a comic and a movie. Gary, is it true that Amazon Studios will not officially fire Payne and McKay because they would be that would be confirmation that uh, Rings of Power season one was an abysmal failure? J.R. Williams for four ninety nine. Yes. but there's the Tolkien estate to think about as well. I'll just say that just another red shirt for $5. Bob Iger made Michael Eisner look good. <laughs> now he's going to make Bob Chapik look good. Yep. Uh, accidental seller for 50 Norwegian Krona. One, uh, one who is able to overcome sensual desire is a true soldier, a warrior who truly is victorious. The Buddha. Hey, good luck, man. Um, I would not make a very good monk. I would be a terrible monk, but um, we the world needs monks. They do. And if you're trying to reach like this, um, like true spirituality, there's a lot of sacrifices you got to make. A lot of people take that shortcut of ayahuasca, the, the monks and stuff, they, they take that long journey to get there to spiritual enlightenment. And again, the world needs them. So a clove of five on the streamlined side for $5. Me, I wish the rings of power had never come to me. I wish none of this has happened. Gandalf, so do all who live in, <laughs> so do all who live to see such shills. <laughs> True. Uh, Malay for five British pounds. How on earth can any studio 
do God of War justice. If a film, at least a trilogy, but it, who would you cast? No way TV will have the budget. Yeah, it would be best for TV. And I just don't know the, the best adaptation right now, by all accounts, by who's, everybody's playing it is the game. Don't look for a movie for this. Hollywood will fuck that up five ways to Sunday. Uh, Aurora uh, uplinks for $2. Happy Thanksgiving. I have a script for Disney. Uh, it just says S. There you go. Or shit. I don't know. Uh, don't give, keep your script. I don't know if you're being joking or anything, uh, but um, keep your script. Do not give it to Disney. Because if you do, even if they even if they op option your script, somebody will rip it off. <laughs> Bunch of fucking thieves in Hollywood. Uh, Bone Apple Tea Party 449 says Kathleen must be checking to see if she still has the Epstein tapes about now. <laughs> That's that would explain a lot if she did. Fantastic Mr. Knox for five Australian dollars. Better than can uh better than Canada RN. Camping is great down here. Anyway, the Bob Chapik news makes up for the few sad passings. Yes, it does. And uh oh yeah, I have Hmm, would I rather go to Australia than Canada? Probably. Because Canada's just cold. Um, egg chin for $5. Appreciate your common sense logic and reasoning in when you're dealing with woke nonsense. It was a bad business decision to ban Trump from Twitter, in my opinion. Uh, it was a horrible business decision. And believe me, companies behind the scenes, and I'm not the only one who said this, by the way, Many others that are secretly behind the scenes rejoicing, rejoicing. They're rejoicing. Uh, Elon brought him back because it was a good business decision and it was wrong to ban him in the first place. Okay. Uh, can, can we cut through the bullshit now? Now that the, the January 6th thing is completely fucking failed and the midterms are over and believe, and, and it was an attempt to get him to not run again. Uh, and they failed. So whether you like them or not, can we cut the bullshit, please? Can we get, can we free the people who were in there who haven't gotten a trial or anything? And uh, if you want to have a talk about, uh, you know, he's already, he already came out with a video saying that, that video was out. And the reason they got rid of it, because it would have destroyed their narrative. He was telling people to go home. He was telling people to go home. That's it. But January 6th, God, fucking that's that, that. That's the only thing that quieted the fucking tiki torches that we heard for two years. Like, oh, the big problem is tiki torches in January 6th. In the meantime, people are dropping like flies in Chicago. Not hearing a fucking word about that. Not a word. Watch your MCU video today and noticed you didn't mention the wrecking crew. I said prominent. Uh, yes, they are C team, but they were a hell of a lot of, of, of the books, Paul Anderson. Yeah, but they were barely in the show. So I, I, my very unscientific poll was they had to be in it more than a couple of scenes. You had to be a problem because I could have added four more girl bosses if I wanted to, especially, uh, the one I'm forgetting her name in Falcon and winter soldier, but like a scene wasn't enough. It had to be multiple scenes. You had to be a prominent character. Um, and yes, it, the, the women outnumbered the men, 27 to 15, and five of the men are dead. One is a technicality because Kane can come back as a variant. But the other, but that's still, that's still a third of the characters you introduced died. And none of the, men, none of the women died. <laughs> and they're all the same fucking character. Okay, last super chat, LOL. Uh, you said that last time, accident seller, but it's okay. For 50 Norwegian Krona. Speaking of traumatic scenes for kids in Star Wars, Rose Tico and feminist Halo Woman will scar many kids for life. Yeah, uh, well, if you love your children, you won't show them the Disney trilogy. Two things. Don't, take them to, uh, don't let them work in Hollywood and don't show them the Disney trilogy. If you love your kids, you don't want them to be scarred. Think of the rehab bills. The Geek and I podcast for $1.99. Happy Thanksgiving. Cool to meet you at the Fan Expo. Right back at you. Good luck with the podcast. The Fixer One for $2. 
our two British pounds. I saw A and H at five years. Oh, a new hope. It's star Wars. Okay. It's star Wars. Don't call it a new hope. It's star Wars. Uh, when I was five years old in 77, uh, I turned 52 weeks ago. Hey, there you go. You watched it when you're five. I watched it when I was seven. And like, I, I remember I liked Chewbacca. I'm like, that is the coolest thing I've ever fucking seen. Uh, accident seller. You just said, you just said it was your last super chat. No, I'm just kidding. Accident seller for 20 Norwegian Krona got notification of the stream and it shows a in sidebar. Oh, good. That's good to know. Coloco Mando for five British pounds. It's good to have a trade. Then you know exactly what kind of work you're out of. <laughs> Daddy. Oh, wait, that's the wrong one. You get a rim shot for that one. Uh, Muff Waggle B for four ninety nine. Hey, the uh, greetings for Boston. Love the channel. Keep up the good work. Hey, hail Boston. Thank you, Clark for five dollars. Thank you for the donation. The Gord King for four ninety nine. Just want to express my thanks to you and people like the Friday Night Tights regulars. My own channel is just a few months old, but I love and uh, love it. And you guys are inspiring to me. Well, that's good. As long as you love it and have fun, that's the most important part. Don't trip on, especially when you're just starting out, don't trip on viewers or I didn't even know I had any, but like, just have fun. That's the whole point. Crypto Kev for $5 evening chaps. Um, oh, it is evening. How come we can never get a decent Lovecraft production? Lovecraft country nearly got it. Hail, except for all the, you know, yeah. Um, because creative Hollywood thinks he's racist, but I would love, love to see a proper Lovecraft adaptation. But the closest you're going to get is the John Carpenter Lovecraftian trilogy, which is fucking fantastic, by the way. Hot Dog Man for $5. Uh, San Antonio Citizen here. Check out Dragon's Lair at Alamo Ranch. Uh, they have comics and tabletop stuff. They uh, have a Psylocke bust with nice um curves. I want it. I've been there. They're cool. They're cool. I've been there. I haven't been to the big toy show in a uh, store in Austin that, that's got all the hot toys. And that's probably a good reason. You should have trademarked MCU says bio six, uh, 1656 for $5, maybe, but listen, it's for the people. And as I said yesterday, every time Disney hears it, they fucking hate it. And that is good. That is good. Imagine HBO firing Kit Harrington after season one because of an Instagram post that went against the leftist narrative. I'd be done after that, says Eric John Pizza Art for $4.99. Exactly. Exactly. Disney, Disney had a, they had finally done it. They had turned the narrative around on Star Wars with something creatively they have done. And they immediately fucked it up by firing Gina Carano. What a bunch of retards. Uh, Eric, John Pizza Art for $4.99. I heard Disney uh, just hired Mike Zero as a consultant. <laughs> they should. They should. Because whether his ideas are true or not, they're better than theirs. <laughs> uh, T. Will Willie for $5. All hail uh, his eminence, Lex Gary Beekler, Tara Quorum, plus Fr Friday Night Tights. I don't know about an excellent. Uh, Den Saka, uh, two parts, $6 total. Is it possible to have a 15 minute video? Uh, is it possible to have a 15 minute video call with you as a French fan from the Caribbean? I would, uh, introduce you to my, uh, my mom and my brother too. Uh, I would pay. Of course. Is it possible? Well, you, you know what you can, um, you can get on the member streams. I don't know about a phone call. I don't know about a phone call, but, uh, you can email me. We can, we can chit chat that way. If we find the time, like, right. I'm about to leave, but, uh, I'm not against it. I'm not, I don't want to put you behind a paywall or anything, but if you need to chit chat, uh, and you're in the Caribbean, yeah, there won't be any meetups in the Caribbean anytime soon. Although Mrs. Neurotic would probably enthusiastically be down with a meetup in the Caribbean. <laughs> uh, but we got to get to Europe first. Uh, but hail, I, I love that you're in the Caribbean. I love it down there. I do. Dominica is my favorite Island. Uh, Slawa Boga for $5. Didn't mean to come off as black pilled. Oh, it's all right. Uh, just been a grim mood, but, uh, been 
reading fellowship Galadriel song, Namari is proudly beautiful. Yes. It's okay. It's it, 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 people can be in grim moods. Just don't stay there. Cause they, that, that cultivates the grim. So yeah, read some Tolkien. That'll bring you out of it. That's a good idea. Uh, DJ Nick Bennett for five dollars. Gary, love to see another ancient civilization stream. Also, do you know uh, they found pyramids underwater off uh, the coast of Cuba? I did know that, and an underwater city off the coast of India. Thanks for your work. The any yeah the the underwater city off of India is like absolutely real because people saw it during the uh, the tsunami. Um, the pyramids off Cuba are still they're struck. There's something with structure down there, but it's so deep and it's in Cuban waters that it's like, there needs to be more research. Uh, but as the ancient apocalypse show pointed out, there's a lot of stuff under the water because well, 12,000 years ago, the water was 400 feet shallower, a uh, new Disney TikTok partner partnership, the meme DeLorean. It's just Pedro reading <laughs> out propaganda one-liners and grogu breaking the fourth wall to agree sean godley for five dollars or season three of the mandalorian yeah screw pedro hot dog man for five dollars if joe rogan offered to have you on would you go i'd love to see you on there sharing your point of view with him i think he'd agree with you uh yeah of course i'd go absolutely i don't think he would agree with a lot of what i said but uh, I would certainly love to talk to him. I love that guy. Uh, don't know if that'll happen, though. But uh, absolutely open to it. I'm I'm open to anything. Bradman for four ninety nine. Hail from Buffalo. Ooh, ooh uh, snowed in with nothing to do but uh, crack one open and watch my boy. There you go. Is the ancient civilization stream going to be a weekly thing? Eventually, yes. I got to, um, you know, I. I yeah, with Adam, we got to work out. We're probably going to do it a little earlier for Adam. Um, uh, and he'll, I'll, I'll let him give the reasons. But uh, yeah, we're going to probably do it a little earlier and it'll eventually be weekly. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, Bird Up for $5. Color Out of Space with Nick Cannon is, uh, Nick Cage is a great Lovecraftian adaptation. I still need to see that because I've heard other people say that. So thank you, Bird Up. Uh, Dan 